time to go to my other job window cleaning window time so I filled up my uh, 20 liters of, of water oh where's my lid oh where's my lid I'm gonna put it at the back of the Audi these cars are quite practical actually Actually, I think I got too much water. It's going to be too heavy. Don't need that much water. Okay. Here we go. In the back of the Audi. These little hot hatches, they're actually quite practical. That's one thing I really like about this car. Even though it's a short wheelbase um, hatch, the seats do fold down, so you can treat it like a wagon a little bit. But I just, oh, boy, here we go. But I just put all my uh, cleaning stuff in here, and all my other parts, my junk. I got some, I got an indicator lens to put onto this car. I just got that. One of these days I'll be installing that. My gym bag, put all my gym stuff in there. Boxing gloves, I never hardly ever use these days, but every now and then I do use that. And all my uh, cleaning products, some soap. There we go. My squeegee. So yeah, these little hatches, they're quite handy. I think even more handy than my other sedans actually because I can fit some bigger stuff in this one. And uh, especially if you're cleaning and doing other little jobs here and there, and I do so many different things that sometimes I just need a car that can just take a box, a large box, and in the back of this hatch, it will definitely fit. Uh, here's a little lens that's cracked. One of these days, I'm going to change that. It's not too major. It's just a small hole at the bottom. But it's starting to look a little bit nasty inside. So that's got to be done. Uh, yeah. I think these tires, they're about 50% worn. They're still all right for now though. They still do the job. These are Dunlops SP Sport, Sport Max. They cost me quite a bit of money. I think they're about $300 each. $300 each, it's not cheap. They do grip and they're Dunlops. 215, 45, 18. Uh, I pretty much bought them because of this little um, pattern they've got on the sidewall here. I really like that. And the font, the print, the text here looks really interesting. So I thought I'd give them a go. They're not very aggressive tires. They're quite, um, oh, like, they're quiet on the road because, it, because the grip, or what do you call it, the tread, it's not very thick. It's quite thin quite thin and uh, yeah you get a, quite a lot of uh, you don't get much rumbling out of these tires but they're starting to wear down a bit now they don't last very long these back ones are the old ones the front ones are the newer ones I just mashed them up these ones are almost ready to go now I might try something more aggressive next time maybe a a more aggressive uh, tread pattern. This one is starting to, they're starting to bore me a little bit. I want something more sporty, more aggressive look. And maybe I'll save up until I uh, actually buy some new, um, new rims. I think I really, I'm starting to get bored of these rims here. These are Audi rims. I don't know if they're originals, 
but they did come on the S on the S8 I believe and maybe even the sixes yeah Audi S8 had had these wheels on them and they actually do fit nicely on this one uh, but the other thing what am I thinking I added these ones years ago these little uh, what do you call these um, decorative things for the for your um, seat belt straps they do make the car look a little bit more aggressive I guess when people look through the window they might think you're actually fast uh, it's not the fastest car in the world this one but with a little bit of added boost it does feel pretty okay and I'm starting to enjoy it I just got to sort out a few little things of course I've been having that uh, idle issue well not just an idle issue it's just in every everywhere when it idles it's rough Sometimes more rough than other times. Right now, it is driving rough. You can't really um, give it too much power. When I put my foot down, it sometimes it just the boost will only reach up to about seven, six or seven psi, and then just that's it. And then sometimes it will reach all the way to fifteen. Normally, when, it's every, when everything's working fine, it will go all the way to 15. But right now, nah, it will not let me. It will not let me. Let's see how it goes this time. So I'm starting to really believe that maybe it is the... Uh, what do you call that? Oh man, I've got a steering lock. It might be um, airflow meter, like I've been saying before. scan which I'm about to do I'm trying to find a place where I can actually get this thing scanned there you go you can see it going up and down on its own oh, it stopped now let me give it some revs ah. there it goes up and down on its own there it goes again there it goes I'm not even touching the pedal right now. It's really annoying, really annoying. Well, 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 so. And the problem with this one is that I went to Audi to Audi and they told me the price just for an airflow meter about about seven hundred and sixty dollars or about seven hundred and eighty dollars somewhere there it wasn't a seven hundreds and I thought man I freaked out if that is broken it's gonna be an expensive fix so I want to really try my best to diagnose this problem I don't want any mistakes I don't want any guessing. I want to really know what's going on so I can replace it and actually be confident and not waste any of my money. Because if I'm wrong and I buy the $700 thing, oh, something at the back, but I check that load, make sure it's loaded properly. expensive everything I want to buy for this car it's gonna cost me quite a lot of money so I'm trying to to really be accurate with my diagnostics skills this is the best time to actually try and pull it
polish them up as well. I'm not really crying about this problem. I see it more of as an opportunity to learn. So I'm gonna try and learn how to diagnose this problem. I think I have an idea and I'm gonna try a few things to see what's going on before I rush to the specialist. Because if I go to the specialist, they're gonna double the price. It's gonna be a thousand something before they even give the car back to me. Just for one problem, it's not cheap. Audi is not cheap. If you're looking to buy an Audi, be prepared. Have a big wallet and um, be prepared to pay a lot of money for, for repairing your Audis. It's cheap. It, it's actually quite reasonable to buy when you're buying them brand new. Oh, yeah, you know, they'll sell you those cars brand new. Easy. Get your finance and everything. It all checks out. But once you've got your finance, what about uh, what about what do you call it? Um, repair repair money. Do you have money to repair these things if they go bad? That's the other thing. That's the thing that most people don't think about. Do you have the money it it takes to repair this thing if it does break? Start saving. Put some money aside. You must have at least a minimum of a thousand dollars. To service your car, your Audi, if it does, just in case something wears out, your brakes, um, disc brakes, pads, sensors that might get damaged, might wear out, um, and just an oil change as well. All that stuff is gonna cost you a lot of money. Minimum a thousand dollars, especially if you're taking it to a dealership. If you're taking it to a dealership, a thousand is nothing. A thousand is nothing. Expect double that. Probably have two thousand just in case. If something breaks, if something breaks, a sensor, anything like that, easy. A thousand and a half, two thousand by the time they fix it. The part alone, another example. When I asked the guy at the at the dealer, at the part supply at the at Audi, some parts section, I went into the parts section and uh, I said, "How much for an oxygen uh, oxygen sensor?" He checked on his computer and he comes back and he says seven hundred and sixty dollars. I was like, "Whoa, okay." And it's got two of them, one up near the one near the turbo and one near the um, after the cat, downstream and upstream, I don't know what. So there's two anyway. And each one $700, $760 for one oxygen sensor. And I was just inquiring, so just to get an idea of how much it's gonna, how much it's gonna cost me if I do have to replace them. And then I said to him, well, how much for an oxygen sensor, an uh, uh, airflow meter? as well and he checked up on the computer as well and he comes comes back and says seven hundred and eighty dollars I'm like what are you just making up these prices now like everything is seven hundred and sixty seven hundred and eighty there's nothing cheap at all and he's like yeah well it's an Audi it's an Audi he says man so if I book my car into a dealer, if I can't fix it myself, it's $700, $780 just for the part. And then they're gonna put labor on top for diagnostics. If they have to diagnose, like, you know, plug in a diagnostic tool and interpret the, the, co interpret the codes that come up and they'll charge per hour for scanning, obviously, you know, for diagnostics. Just per hour, it's about $110, just per hour. And that's cheap too, $110 per hour. And there might be an hour or two, you don't, you don't know. It could, so it could easily, 780, 880, $280, if they spend two hours on it. 880, I'm just gonna say 
just for one problem one problem the car still runs it just doesn't run 100% the fuel mixture is off the charts it's just it's just all over the place so that's the problem with the Audi and that's the problem I've got with my Audi I'm experiencing the expensive expensive life and service of Audi dealer uh, Audi ownership imagine if I had an RS3 if I had, a, if I had an RS3 if you think you're buying an RS3 that thing is even more expensive if it breaks wow double the price double the price because the discs are bigger the brake pads are bigger the calipers are bigger it's probably got even more sensors than mine because mine is a 2002 and Audi RS3 2015 onwards man man it's it's gonna be it's gonna be up there in price it's gonna be up there up there but I'm still driving mine because I need it I need it for work I need it for work well, after my other job I got another car that I drive for work and then I've got this car that I drive for my own business even though they're both my you know I'm a contract worker for the other one and this one's my own business my own business I do window cleaning in my um, in my spare time. People call me up and I go and clean their windows, usually shops. Um, right now I'm going to a clinic, an eye clinic. I'm gonna go and clean there. Ooh, that was a pop then, I had a backfire. Um, yeah, so just that that helps a lot as well, you know. When you've got so many cars, you you have to think you have to think very carefully about your finances with these things. Like, how do you know own so many cars, especially unique cars? And I really like unique unique cars: Audis, Mercedes, Lexus. I've got I've got a Toyota Supra. It's all, you know, being repaired right now. I'm fixing it up myself. Uh, so I'm gonna get back to doing that one. I haven't been working on it. I haven't worked on Super for a while. I'm gonna get back to that one. I got some parts that are still coming for that one. So I'm stuck with the Audi. Can I fix this one? I do like fixing this car. I, I like working on this Audi. It's a bit of a challenge. So I'm planning to keep I'm planning to keep it for a little bit longer. It does get frustrating sometimes because I know it's gonna cost me a lot of money for any repairs. But I do enjoy the challenge when I get it when I get it fixed, I'm really happy. Just last year I had the clutch go on me. The clutch cost me three thousand dollars to replace. $3,000 for a clutch, a clutch kit. I had to replace a clutch kit with the hydraulic, um, uh, what do you call it, slave cylinder that had to be replaced, a master cylinder had to be replaced. 3400 I paid for the clutch on this Audi, uh, um, Audi S3. 8L body 2002 model imagine if it was an RS3 for an RS3 gearbox I'm gonna guess it's gonna cost about seven to eight thousand dollars for a gearbox um, clutch probably for a clutch maybe four thousand maybe five thousand I'm not sure actually I'm sort of guessing but it's gonna be a lot more oh, it is it has been an expensive little car, this car. And then 
I had to replace the shock absorbers just a few months ago, a month ago. I knew I got new shocks for this car. So it's, it's driving really good. But I had to pay 1,000, I paid 1,000, 1,400 for some shocks. Yeah, 1,400 for new shocks for this Audi S3. Front and back, just shocks, no springs, just shock absorbers. And they were Bilstein, Bilstein uh, brand, yellow, they match the body as well. I've got to show you that, I'll show you that. If I can uh, reach my camera underneath somewhere, but I'm already driving, but uh, yeah. So this car now is, it's cost me more than it's worth because I can buy one of these cars. I could just buy a whole new, not new one, but another car. But it's too late, I've already started spending the money. It's a one way trip. You gotta finish what you start. Once you start a project like this, have to finish it there's no other way so I'm just gonna keep going and going until it frustrates me enough and then I'll move on to another car I'm not sure what I'll do with this car whether, whether I'll sell it whether I'll keep it at the moment I really really like it I plan to keep it even if I buy another car sometimes I think about an RS3 maybe I could you know upgrade to an RS3 one one of these days but then the long the more you know the loan for the car you'd be paying for that and then if it does break they're not very strong these kind of cars they're not strong Audis are not strong cars if it does break I'm paying the loan and then I have to pay the repairs as well on top of all that not much fun I don't like the thought of that I got too many cars I want to play with than to be stuck with one paying it off mm, the Audi was the idol was running badly then and now it's good again it's hard to, to convey the, the actual feeling of the car when you're on video but when I'm driving it, it's just, I could tell, it just doesn't have the power, the power's not there today, and it's just, mm, it's just not, it's not fun right now, it's not much fun, it's not much fun, anyway, I think I've talked enough about this.